Hello, my name's Maddie, and today we're looking at a two bedroom house in Ramsgate on King Street, up for 695 per month. Um, so I'm gonna start inside and we'll finish up outside. So the property used to be a shop, so you actually do still have the shop front area. So this space, uh, the current tenant isn't actually using it for anything, but it could be made into something quite nice if you decided to do so. Um, there's a hatch on the floor just there which leads to a very large cellar. It's just under there. And King Street is located just up the road from the high street. So it's a short distance from the main high street. So that's your entrance just there. So there is a partition door which you can shut. blocks off all the noise coming off of the road okay so we've got um, an open plan kitchen lounge living area okay so if we just go through so it's quite a good size we've got a nice big skylight up there um, the property has got storage heaters and is electric. So as you can see, there's a really good size lounge. And the property also benefits from a roof terrace, which I'll show you shortly. So this property is up for 695. It's a two bedroom house and it's a five week rent deposit. So it is currently tenanted. So the tenant, when they move out, they will take their belongings with them. So with the kitchen, um, you've got a built-in fridge, freezer, cooker and hob. And there's some cupboard space just down there as well. If you have any questions at all at any point, please feel free to ask. Um, I'm not sure if the freestanding fridge comes with the property. Um, you will need to inquire with the office. So if we go through, um, I believe the property is on key meter and the electric's actually turned off at the moment. So unfortunately I can't show you um, with a light on. So this is the shower. There is only a walk-in shower with this property, there is no bath. You've probably noticed that there is some black spot mould up on the wall there. Um, I have spoken with the landlord about this. Basically, this part of the building is an extension and there appears to be some sort of leak. And the landlord is going to get his contractor to have a look at this to find out what is causing it and sort this problem. Okay, and then we've got a separate toilet, which is just in here. This is also the place where you would store your washing machine. Once again, I'm not sure if this washing machine comes with the property or if that is the tenant's own. I believe it is the tenant's, but you can confirm at the office. Um, so the property, um, going back to when it used to be a shop, does have this space out here. So the current tenant's using it as storage. Could be potentially used as a larder. Um, unfortunately, I don't believe this actually goes to anywhere that you would have access to as such. It would have been an old, the old loading area, um, but that isn't included in the let, so there's no garden, but there is a roof terrace. And we've got a the skylight just up there. Um, once again, this property is up for 695 with a five-week rent deposit. Our telephone number is 01843 222700. Okay, so we're just going to head upstairs now. If you have any questions at any point, please feel free to ask. So upstairs we've got two double bedrooms. So the one to the right is the first double bedroom. 
So this is the smaller out of the two and this is the one that also leads to the roof terrace. So as you can see it's big enough to get a double bed in here. Current tent is using it for two bunk beds. Um, I'm just going to put my hand through here so you can see the roof terrace area just as the door I'm having a bit of trouble with the lock so I'll speak to the landlord so you do have a, a rooftop area out here so there's currently a table out there as it isn't isn't fenced um, off or there's no rail um, I wouldn't recommend for particularly young children going out there as it could be you know potentially dangerous um, if you did want to put up a rail or what have you, you can always ask on your application if you decide to apply if the, either the landlord can fit that or if you'd like to fit that yourself and in here we've got the second bedroom so this is the larger of the two And this property um, is available at the end of February. Um, someone has said if pets are allowed, um, I believe the landlord will consider pets case by case. So if you have any pets and you're interested in the property, you just need to give us a call and just state what pets you have on your application. So as you can see, this is a nice big bedroom. So at the front of the property is single glazed windows and it's storage heaters. And this one is up for 695. And is available the end of February. So I'm just gonna have a walk back through. So the bedroom we were just in was the larger bedroom out of the two. I've got the second bedroom here, which is still a double decent size double um, someone's just asked a question so yes the deposit is five weeks rent five weeks off the rent and the rent is six nine five so if you're interested you just need to give Oakwood Homes a call on 01843 triple two seven hundred and then you can put your application in and at that point we'll ask for further information so what your income is credit history if you require a guarantor if you have any pets and so forth and then all applications will go through to the landlord and the landlord will then make the final decision so we're just going to go back through so to the rear you've got the separate wc and the space for your washing machine just in here um apologies i can't turn the lights on the electrics off at the moment and then we've got the shower um, and once again just in case anyone didn't catch it earlier there is some black spot mold in here um i have spoken to the landlord about it this part of the building is an extension so we believe there's a leak coming in from the roof and the landlord will get that sorted. So with the electric heaters, they're storage heaters. So the way they work is there's basically bricks inside and they release heat during the day and then take in heat at night. So I believe these ones do have a timer. Let me just have a look. So you have got some settings on the storage heaters. I think from what previous tenants have said is that they have, um, it's, I mean, it depends on you and how much heat you like. Some tenants tend to have an additional heater as well, like an oil filled freestanding one in addition to the storage heaters. The current tenants advice has not had any issues really with um, it being cold or anything um, other than that black spot mold which we showed you in the bathroom which we have discussed with the landlord and which he will sort. So I'm just going to take you back through to the front of the property to give you an idea of whereabouts the property is. 
it's within walking distance to the high street. And then you've also got this space up here. So as you can see, the current tenant's not using this space. But if you wanted to, you can. And there's also the cellar hatch just there. And the cellar is very large. I'm just gonna open this up so you can see whereabouts we are. So you've also got an additional gate. It's extra security from where this did used to be a shop. So if I come up here, you can see where we are. So we're just on the top of King Street. We've got Boundary Road just there. Victoria Road just up there. So this one is up for 695. It's available the end of February. If you're interested, please give us a call on 01843 222 700. Um, someone's just asked if you're allowed to redecorate. Um, if you want to do any decorating or anything like that, you'll just need to put it on your application and we can put it forward to the landlord. And if you can also state what colours you'd like to do. Um, and with regards to the mould issue, the landlord's contractor is investigating to see what the source is. Um, I will speak to the landlord to find out exactly when that will be done. Okay, so if you're interested, give us a call on 01843 222 700. Any additional questions about works or what will be done or what you would like to do, if you can state that on your application and we can put it forward to the landlord for you. Thank you very much.